Asian markets may have climbed during trading Monday. At one point, Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index was up more than 1 percent, but those gains didn't last. Fears the U.S. may be slipping back into recession caused investors to dump riskier assets. In Seoul, Samsung and LG Electronics were among the companies finishing higher after a report the two South Korean firms dominated the global TV market in the second quarter. But the main Kospi index still ended up dropping 2 percent. In Tokyo, the Nikkei slumped 1 percent as a persistently strong yen continued to rattle nerves. That hurts Japanese exports by making them more expensive. Japan had intervened in currency markets earlier this month to try and rein in the yen with only temporary success. But Finance Minister Yoshihiko Noda said the government is willing to step in again. We need to monitor closely the movements of the market. We will not eliminate any option and we're ready to take necessary measures against the yen's rise. In Europe, markets were making up some of the ground lost Friday as investors looked to pick up bargains. The DAX index in Frankfurt, as well as London's FTSE and the CAC in Paris, were substantially higher in morning trading. Oliver Roth is trading director at Close Brothers Seidler Bank. The market is going to go sideways and at the end of the week, some economic data will be published, which we will watch carefully as recession is a subject here. On Friday, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke is due to give a speech at a symposium in Wyoming. Investors are hoping he'll discuss further steps to boost the U.S. economy. In the meantime, there are hopes oil prices will come down too, with Libyan rebel forces making a final push to take complete control of their country from what's left of Muammar Gaddafi's government. Brent crude has seen the biggest drop so far. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.